All right, you ready? Yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> I'm Ryan Thompson, mm -hmm. and we are in my studio at Trinity Christian College, and I'm participating in the Hatch program at CAC. Are you enjoying Hatch? Yes, it's been great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's a really great opportunity to meet a bunch of other wonderful artists and curators in the city. What are you currently working on? Well, we've got a show coming up at CAC at the end of the month, uh, just a few weeks from now, and I'm working on a series of projects called Records Are Written in Stone and they take up the character of uh, a person named Marcel Vogel, who was an IBM scientist for about uh, 27 years, uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s. He is a really interesting person because he has a bunch of patents to his name. He discovered uses for magnetics, um, including the magnetic hard drive disk coding and the strip on the back of your credit card. After he retired from IBM, he got interested in crystal healing. So he went from like these really hard research science practices to the occult sciences. Um, and I think that is part of everybody, you know, this desire to kind of rely on reason and rationality and hard science and facts, but also to have um, the part of us that wants to believe in things that are just kind of beyond proof. I'm interested in that split or that sort of dichotomy in everyone, but for this series of projects specifically through, through the lens of Marcel Vogel and his time both at IBM and, and after that when he was working with crystals. I'm making, uh, based on a, a geometry that he designed, a bunch of crystals in different materials, um, everything but, right now everything but uh, quartz crystals, so plaster, um, sawdust, clay, foam, um, crayons, etc. Another project is a series of courtroom sketches that are illustrating uh, some miracles that he did, quote unquote miracles, incidents that he that he participated in, in which the crystal was involved, um, aging wine, healing people, uh, levitating a woman. And then there's a text piece that runs around the gallery that's borrowed text from a crystal healing workshop. Uh, and then there's a couple other uh, smaller pieces in the show. So all revolving around Vogel and his crystal experiments. Broadly, the geology works. I've been interested in geology for the last maybe three or four years or longer, actually, even since my um, graduate thesis work. Um, I became really interested in geology and the sort of strangeness of those materials and the timelines that geology opens up. Um, you know, something like a meteorite that could be older than the Earth is operating on a very different timeline than our human existence, like, and to sort of strive to better understand those timelines, I think, is, is simultaneously a fool's errand, right? Like, we can't ever really, I think, understand a million years, let alone a few billion years, relative to, like, a 75-year lifespan. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really, I think it's worth doing because it makes us, like, more conscientious um, of the world around us. You know, when uh, Jason proposed the title of reference route for the exhibition, I got pretty excited. I wasn't familiar with that term. It refers to um, links and pages that have sort of gone, that have gone into sort of disrepair on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And this can happen over the course of days or months or years or decades. Now that the internet's been around for a couple decades. Things that have gone kind of dark, right? Where you sort of, one thing leads to another and then you pull up a page that's sort of decaying or doesn't exist anymore. And that idea of things kind of slipping away is really interesting because the internet's this place that is very organic and it, it, it has a life of its own. Um, and unless those things get constantly updated, they do just kind of dissolve into entropy and things have a kind of entropic state on the internet. Most of the research for my project has come from the internet. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of like academic research on Marcel Vogel, right? <laughs> He's an interesting character that's become, I think, even more um, powerful and iconic because of the internet. Like if it weren't for him, I think it would have been a lot easier for his research and crystals to kind of have just drifted into the background. Hopefully this these projects actually become a part of what we understand about his work. And we have a we as artists can actually shape those histories mm -hmm. and become a part of that reference rot um, without too much trouble, especially if it's a more cultish figure like Marcel Vogel. I can't wait to see Maya and Rachel's work um, and to see my work finished. Come, you know, check it out. It's going to be a great show. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Yay. Yeah.